What is good? Welcome to this video where we're going to cover how to track outbound links with Google Tag Manager to send the data to Google Analytics. And you want to track outbound links if you have links on your website that either lead to an external website, for example, if you want to reference another resource or if you have an affiliate link. So we'll walk you through the steps and, and then we'll test and we can see the data in Google Analytics. Let's take a look at our website and take a look at the outbound links that we have set up. So if you'll see here, this is our, our website, this is our domain. It's a blogspot domain and we have these two links here. So the first one that we'll track is a YouTube link to the YouTube channel. So this is our, our link. If you look in the bottom left corner, you can see the link that this text links to. So let's go back to Google Tab Manager. And after you have Google Tag Manager installed, if you go to variables in the left navigation, I already have these, these variables enabled, but you want to click on configure, scroll down to the click section and enable all of those variables. We'll need at least the click URL variable, but the rest of those click variables are good to have as well. So you can click out of that, go back to overview, and add a new tag. And here we'll call this tag GA for Google Analytics event outbound link tag. And then click in the tag configuration section, choose Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, and change the track type to event. For the category, we'll call it outbound link action. Going to call this click. You can also name it exit or exit website. Or if you want to understand where, what, or what exactly your users are, are clicking on to exit out of your site, you can choose either the click text variable or some click element. And for this label, this is where we'll use the click URL variable. So you can either type in double curly brackets and then click URL or you can choose the Lego block and then select the click URL variable that you want. But you only do one of those because you don't want this to show up twice. And then for the non-interaction hit, now if you leave this on false, it'll affect the bounce rate and it'll count against the bounce rate. But since this is an outbound click, I'm not looking for this to affect the bounce rate, so I'm going to set this to true. And this is up to you how you want to count whether you want it to count against the bounce rate or not, but I'm going to set it to true. And then make sure you use the Google Analytics settings variable so that it sends to the right GA property. And then we'll scroll down, click on the triggering, and we're going to create a new trigger. So we'll go up here to the top right and click on new trigger. And for this trigger configuration, when you click on it, we'll use just links. And we'll call this link outbound trigger. And then click on this area to edit it. You can choose wait for tags so that it'll delay the opening of the links until all the tags have fired. 
or a specified timeout has elapsed, whichever comes first, and that's two seconds. You can also check the validation, but I'm going to leave that blank. And then for this trigger, what we'll do is click on the drop down, click page URL, choose the contained and matches regex, and then type in period and asterisk. And this will this will basically trigger when it's on all of our web pages for the website. But then for this actual trigger, we're going to choose some link clicks. And then in this first drop down, what we're going to do is click on new variable. Click on the variable configuration. And for the variable type, choose auto event variable. We'll call this auto event. And we'll add outbound as well. Let's look at our variable type. Select the drop down and choose element URL. And for component type, select is outbound. Now, if you have domains that you don't want to be counted as outbound links, for example, if you have a, a subdomain or you have another domain that's within your ecosystem of websites or a payment portal, then you can input those domains here in affiliated domains. So you can list them out, for example, paypal.com. And then click save. So for this variable, this auto event, outbound variable, when it's equal to true, that's when we want our outbound link tracking tag to fire. So click on save, and then save the tag that you created. Now we can test our tag out in the preview mode. Click on preview in the top right, Wait for the tag assistant to load. Grab your domain that you're testing on. Paste it in there and click on connect. Once it connects, then let's test out our page and our outbound link. So we're now going to click on the YouTube link which opens up in a new tab. If we go back to our tag assistant, just click on continue here. And scroll tracking, go back to our summary. And here's our, our GA event outbound link tag. So this is what it's tracked. We can see the category is there, the action click that we set, and then the click URL. But let's click on the actual action upon which this tag fired. And in the top right corner here, display variables as, we'll switch that to values. And we can see the actual values that Google Tag Manager has captured. So again, category, outbound link, action, click. And then here's our event label, the actual click URL. And that's exactly what we wanted. So everything looks good here. Let's X out of that. Now let's go to Google Analytics. So this is us right here two minutes ago. Let's check the real time report and we'll check the events. So once this loads, we see those events have fired. 
Let's click on events and we can see our outbound link with the click action has been sent to GA. So we're good here and when the data has been processed, what you can do is you can find it in the behavior section from the left navigation, click on events, and then top events. Let's see if the data has been processed yet. So let's make sure we select the right date. Yep, it's already processed. Now, if you have a, a bigger website, it might not show up that quickly. That is a bigger website with, with more traffic. It might take a, a little bit longer to process. Let's go back to our Google Tag Manager and make sure we submit it. Give this version a name. Let's just say outbound link tracking. configured tag with auto event variable publish that and we're good to go so you can click on the outbound link event category we can see the click event action and the event label for the URL so that's it. That's how you configure outbound link tracking with Google Tag Manager for Google Analytics. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.